War Diary Day 613 of Russia's war against Ukraine. Vladimir Putin is missing. Yesterday we saw these terrible scenes of uh, people in southern Russia storming an airport in Dagestan trying to find Jews who would come in a plane from Tel Aviv. Actually it turned out that the plane was carrying sick kids who'd been receiving medical attention in Israel and there were no Jews on board. But the images were terrible because they were images of a wannabe pogrom. And if I'm Vladimir Putin, I would want to show that I'm in charge and Vladimir Putin is missing. A few days ago, six, seven days ago, General SVR, which is a telegram channel Purportedly, um, the words of a former high up in the Russian Foreign Intelligence Service, the SVR, um, said that Putin had died and um, the doctors had given up resuscitation and they'd put the body in a freezer. Now, I rate um, General SVR as interesting if true. Um, the problem, of course, is people like me find it difficult to find out what's going on inside the Kremlin because anybody who's any good at being a journalist in Russia has been shot or fallen out of the window or poisoned. But after that story really got going, Vladimir Putin went to a kind of space control centre in Moscow. I've looked at the pictures and I think this is not the real Putin, it's Putin's double. And I've set this out in a, um, in a piece for my patrons, if you, uh, if you can. Um, have a look, um, it costs a, a pound um, to join. So I believe that, I'm not saying he's dead, but Vladimir Putin is missing. And the person who put up the other day at the space centre is a double. Oh, and Vladimir Putin, the real thing. Do fuck off. <coughs>